Cody Locks and the Three Bullfrogs by Ashley, Dorin, and Mira. Once upon a time, there was a family of bullfrogs that lived in a small house at the edge of the pond. They had their own pool. It had three lily pads, one for each family member. One day, the bullfrog family was just getting ready to sit down for a meal of soup. But... Ouch! 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 The soup was very hot, so they decided to go out for a short hop before their meal. By the time they returned, they expected the soup would have cooled down. Meanwhile, a little girl named Goldilocks was walking in the woods. She noticed a little house at the edge of the pond. She went inside. Let's go. But mommy, I'm so hungry. Gee, three bowls of soup? I wonder who these belong to. Goldilocks looked at Papa Bullfrog's soup and saw something was strange. There were flies in that soup. Yuck! Then she looked at Mama Bullfrog's soup. Something was strange again. There were crickets in that soup. Ew! Then she went over to Baby Bullfrog's soup to see if anything was strange about that. This soup is just right. Mmm. Goldilocks ate Baby Bullfrog's soup down to the nitty gritty. Goldilocks felt like going for a swim in my town then she had remembered when she walked into the house she had seen a pool in the backyard. Goldilocks jumped into the pool and climbed onto Papa Bullfrog's lily pad. This lily pad is way too big and slippery. Goldilocks rolled back into the water and swam to Mama Bullfrog's lily pad. That lily pad was just the oddest thing in the world. Goldilocks did a backflip in the air onto Baby Bullfrog's lily pad. This is perfect. I'm really tired. Goldilocks was so tired that she decided to come in for a quick nap. And when she came to this room, she had seen three beds, and she climbed onto Papa Bullfrog's bed. This bed is too bouncy. Goldilocks slid off of Papa Bullfrog's bed and went over to Mama Bullfrog's bed. She tried jumping. Nothing really happened. This bed isn't bouncy enough. <laughs> <Bell>. <laughs> Goldilocks climbed onto Baby Bullfrog's bed. After a while, Goldilocks grew tired of bouncing on Baby Bullfrog's bed. She laid down and went to sleep. Soon, the Bullfrog family came hopping back from their outing. They were hungry and looking forward to some tasty soup, flies, and crickets. Suddenly, the Bullfrogs noticed that something was not quite right. Someone's been sampling my soup. Someone also took a spoonful of my soup. The bullfrogs went to the door. They opened the door and looked at the pool. The lily pads in the pool were moved, so they went to go check it out. <gasps> Mommy, someone sat on my lily pad and I was sick. Someone's rolled on my lily pad. Someone has definitely sat on my lily pad. The bullfrogs hopped upstairs to see if anything was suspicious up there. Someone's been bouncing on my bed. Someone's been bouncing on my bed too. Someone's sleeping in my bed. With all the commotion, Goldilocks woke up. She was greeted by a family of frogs staring at her. They were hopping mad. Goldilocks jumped out of bed and moved everything out of the way so she could jump out the window. 
And guess what happened next? Geronimo! Thank you for watching Goldilocks and the Three Bullfrogs by Ashley, Lauren, and Mira. The end. Hey guys, I'm Ashley and I played the voice of Mom and Baby Bullfrog. Hey guys, my name is Lauren and I was the voice of Frenchie the Narrator. Hey, I'm Mira and I played the voice of Goldilocks and Papa Bullfrog. El Nino! Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Let's try this again. Papa Bullfrog went to the door. He looked outside the window in the door. <laughs> and I'm Mirror, and I was the voice of Goldilocks and the Three Bullfrogs. <laughs> <laughs>